there was an accident that I had, and I thought it was, you know, in my estimation, it was a horrible accident whereby um, I was um, running to a telephone pole by a semi tractor trailer, and there was some serious damage done to my body. I consulted an attorney, and the attorney that I consulted really did not do the job. So with that in mind, and having gone through a process of about six months, and then finding that nothing was really uh, uh, done on my behalf for it to proceed forward, I decided to move forward with another attorney. So I did. I moved forward with a second attorney, but it was not Chuck at that time. So the second attorney that I used, you know, I thought he was reputable. In fact, he was reputable, and, and I thought he was pretty sharp. But it turned out that uh, he was kind of lagging behind as well. And obviously, we were not getting any results. So in a conversation with that second attorney, I simply asked him, is there someone else that you can work with as a second attorney that you can bring in to assist you because he was going solo. And he took my advice into consideration and the next thing I knew I got a call from him and he told me that the white law firm would be taking over my case, that he would be in the background and that the white law firm would take the lead. So having had the opportunity to um, have a consultation with uh, Mr. Boyd, I really felt comfortable because one thing that he did that the other attorneys didn't do is that he wanted to really understand me as a person and what my needs were outside of the context of the accident. And that was important to me because I'm a kidney transplant recipient. And he having found that out Again, understanding what my physical conditions and limitations were, uh, that felt important to me because he understood that I was not only going through, you know, emotional uh, pain and drama, but physical pain and drama as well. But his professionalism and expertise helped to settle me down, and he did an excellent job. It took a number of years for that settlement to take place. But today, I feel that had he not taken that case over because there was a bankruptcy involved with the insurance company that was involved in my case, I would have not received anything. There would have not been any compensation at all for the serious injuries that uh, were sustained as a, as a result of that accident. So I thank him very much to this day for that. Seven years to the date of the first accident, I was on my way home from work and in my vehicle there I was at a stoplight and there was a vehicle that was speeding that ran right into the back of me. And we don't understand, you know, what this individual that we found out it was a guy that was in a van, we don't understand if he was under under the influence or what have you. I mean that's I guess neither here nor there. That was for the law to handle. But what I do remember is that, you know, I had a, a broken nose, um, I had a concussion, and um, I had uh, a fracture on part of my ribs that was really sore, and uh, it was ex excruciating, and it brought back memories of that, of that first accident to some extent. But I was, you know, extremely happy that uh, it was such to where it was not life-threatening, uh, the transplanted kidney was still intact, and all of the other uh, major parts of my organs and bodies of, of the body was intact. So I was thankful for that. While in the hospital, the first person that came to mind was Chuck Boyd. Chuck Boyd was the, he, I mean, without questioning. Um, I knew that he was going to be the person that was going to be handling my case. Not so much as it, as it related to the monetary factor or portion of what may uh, be compensated for me as a result of the accident, but more so I understood that he was going to understand me and my health concerns and my position, and he was going to put me at ease as he did the first time, 
recognizing all of that, you know, to be the case when I was in the hospital, I did not even worry about the case at all because I knew that I was going to be in good hands. It was just a matter of me being well enough to get on that phone and dial those digits and, and get Chuck on the phone. And, and once I knew that I would get him on the phone, then I was home free as far as that part was concerned. And he did a great job. And the case was resolved like that. The entire team for, of his staff and the entire organization here, they were all professional. They were fantastic. They do a great job here. And I got to give them props. They're excellent at what they do. And they make you, as I mentioned earlier, they make you feel comfortable in the process of what they do. And there's nothing like that. So I love these guys here. I really do.